we see the push for globalism and new world order. It's all there. It's all there. They are pushing and pushing and pushing lockdowns, and it's all climate change, and it's all new green new deal, and it's all um, a reset, the great reset. I'm going to give a whole update on the the reset. Everything is in place. The only thing that we we don't see now, or the only thing that is standing on the way for everything to be fulfilled, watch this. The restrainer is still here. <laughs> we. The church, the Holy Spirit in us, we're the temple of the Holy Spirit. We're still here. And as long as we are here, we're the salt of the earth. We are the light of the world. That's what he said in the Sermon on the Mount. You are the salt of the earth. You are the light of the world. And this is why it is our not our privilege, but our duty to fight for righteousness and godliness. Duty to fight. I mean, if you think that I'm fighting for President Trump right now just because I'm in love with the personality of the man, no, I'm not. If you think that I believe that by him being president four more years, everything will be great and the world will become a wonderful... No, I don't. I, I just want godliness and righteousness. I want the unborn to, to have someone fighting for them. I, I want uh, freedom and family and, and pro-Israel. I want terrorists to pay for what they, I want these things. That's why. As long as we are here, we must fight for these things. While we are here, we must choose to promote righteousness and godliness. Choose. It's a choice. That's why voting is important. Voting is a choice. You choose someone. You choose a policy. You choose a platform. I'm not a Republican. I'm not even an American. But every Bible believer around the world has to stand for the unborn, has to stand for Israel, has to stand for, the, for family values, has to stand for freedom. That, that's what it's all about. And so until we're gone, and by the way, I believe we will be gone soon. I don't believe in dominion theology. Interesting, now that that name gets a new meaning with the dominion machines. I don't believe, though, that we are to establish the kingdom of God here and that we will prepare the world for Jesus to come back to. No. He went to prepare a place for us. This world, the principle of inevitability, it's going the wrong direction and I can see it and I know it. But as long as I'm here, I'm not going to vote for Biden just so the rapture will take place right now. No. I am going to vote for righteousness and godliness and the right platform that promote the right thing. That's what it's all about. And if God will decide that it's, it's over, it's time for America to go down the drains and for Biden to be the president, I will not say anything. But if it's up to me and what I can do and what I can say and what I can fight for, it's, of course, for the right things. Why do you think Facebook is persecuting me right now? Why do we think I'm being suppressed on all social media? Because I'm, I'm saying those things. And it's super important. That